In today's Climate Matters, they're called vector-borne illnesses, and they have been on the rise for 20 years. A big reason why is because travel has now become much easier, but there's also a climate component involved as well. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland joins us now with the impacts that we are now seeing here in our own backyard. Daniel. Well, Sean and Angelique, as you heard, travel is a big thing. So typically people would travel to the Midwest or the South and pick these up, then return to Arizona. But now we're starting to see more of these diseases diagnosed in our own state. Vector-borne illness is one from a tick, a mosquito, or a flea. And um, all of those are increasing. So Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, by its name, you would think of occurring in the mountains. According to the Arizona Department of Health, the first human case of Rocky Mountain spotted fever in our state occurred in 2004. Since then, multiple others have been identified mainly on tribal lands in the northern portion of our state near the Rocky Mountains. We're starting to see diseases like this adapt to the warmer temperatures of our state and can soon spread quickly throughout our area. Tick-borne and flea-borne illnesses that we thought of as mountain illnesses are moving down the hill towards us. So basically, as the environment here changes, uh, it makes it friendly for unfriendly beings. We have also seen increasing West Nile virus numbers in recent years, especially after strong monsoons. It's pretty much everywhere in the United States now. It's not going away. It's endemic here, so we're going to just have to continue living with it. This disease is spread by mosquitoes, which thrive in hot and rainy conditions. As summers get warmer, that will pair with strong monsoons to potentially spread the disease faster. And something else to keep in mind is that your pets could also be impacted by diseases like this. So make sure they're up on the vaccinations they need and get the medicine if they do get that disease. Back to you.